She plays the deadly assassin Tigress on the CW's Stargirl, but behind the scenes, she's a hardworking mom, wife, and champion in her community. This morning, we are joined by Joy Osmansky. Joy, first of all, good morning to you. I know it's kind of an early start there in California. Yes, but I'm thrilled to have such a wonderful reason to be up and going. So thank you for having me. Well, we're so excited to hear about the next season of Stargirl. Of course, that show airs right here on CW. If people have not yet gotten a chance to watch, can you tell us a little bit about the show and what we can expect in this upcoming season? So the show centers around this wonderful female lead played by Breck Bassinger, and Stargirl is a really modern hero. And she's surrounded by this amazing team of good guys, and they get to fight us, the bad guys. And I have to say, this is my first time doing anything like this, and it has been an unbelievable experience. And the show is, is everything an actor could hope for. Superheroes are just having such a moment right now. What is it like being able to play a villain? And I know you have kids. Do they watch the show? <laughs> They they watch parts of it, and I always have to give a disclaimer. I am always saying, please do not do what Mama is doing <laughs> on the screen. I spend all my time saying, don't hit, don't hit, and then they just see me hitting. So it's really, <laughs> I try to separate fact from fiction for them when they when they see little clips. Yeah, I love that because, Joy, you are seen doing so many stunts, and you're in all of these action scenes. Do you do all of them yourself? What's that like? Oh, goodness, no. Uh, my incredible stunt double, Lauren Mary Kim from season one, uh, she does the bulk of the work and she is incredible. I, I mean, she's an athlete beyond compare and I am in awe of her. And then she sets me up very nicely to hop in at the end and like strike a pose. <laughs> <laughs> which is but the I was able part. to do more than I expected, which was super exciting and very, very humbling. What can you tell us about season two? Anything? Season two, it just gets a lot darker, which is such a fun thing for a show to have an opportunity to do. And I will say that the evil forces at work are genuinely scary. Like I, my children will not be coming anywhere near season two. It, it, it's scary. Oh, okay, a good little nugget there. All right, um, can you tell us when season two will air? So season two is happening August 10th, which oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, just a couple of months away now. There we are. We have that information on the screen. August 10th, 8 p.m. here on CW18. Uh, Joy, while you're with us, you know, this month uh, we are talking about Asian heritage. Uh, can you talk about your personal work with Stop Asian Hate? And I also know you have a very interesting background. You were born in South Korea. That's correct. So I was born in South Korea in Seoul and was adopted to the United States when I was seven months old. And for me, growing up as a uh, Korean American adoptee in this country has been an interesting experience. And I think most adoptees would, would say that. But um, the fact that this month gets a special spotlight is, is wonderful. But these are issues that, of course, are ongoing every day of the year. And um, I'm just happy to be able to lend one more voice to this movement and to support my community however I can. We're taking a look at a beautiful picture. It looks like a Christmas card picture of you and your family. We know you also support the Black Lives Matter movement. And you adopted uh, your son, who is black. How do you and your family discuss race? We discuss it very openly. I mean, in an age-appropriate way. But it's becoming uh, increasingly clear that these are topics that we must not shy away from. And so all of these issues impact my family in a very immediate way. And none of us have the luxury of avoiding those discussions. Um, my son needs to be very aware of what awaits him, as does my daughter, my stepdaughter. And certainly for myself and my husband, we are being educated and illuminated in ways that we never thought possible. And I'm very grateful for that. Always learning and always having those very important discussions in our community. Joy, thank you so much for joining us this morning to talk about the CW show, as well as some really important issues that matter. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.